Alright, welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you're watching yeah, us, Zamel and Stephen, on this uh, Thursday morning, yeah, 22nd yeah. of uh, March. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first topic that we're going to discuss today is talking about how do we get people to like us? How, how, I, how do I get uh, people to like, to like me? me? So, exactly. we have our resident motivator. Yes, wow. sir. Murshida Said. Welcome to the show once morning. again. Morning. Welcome back. Welcome back. Nice to be here. Yeah. Uh, you you have an interesting Facebook page. Uh, <laughs> I do, yes. Yeah. Just wondering, uh, the Facebook page, if you want to know mm. and log on, is uh, the message that is called <coughs> The Message is Love and Respect. So yeah. just type The Message is Love and Respect. Did you actually sign in by, you know, if people were to put uh, Facebook.com slash uh, uh, The Message is Love and yeah. Respect? You yes, can get it will it. come out. Just, just type in, in on the search box uh, The Message is Love and Respect. And come in and join the community where we're always posting things there. Uh, very updates. positive comments. Positive yes, yeah. things. Yeah. Uplifting yeah. things. Yes. All right. Yeah. And of course, today we have a very interesting topic. This one should appeal to everyone out yeah. there. Why is it that everyone wants others to like this? Yeah. Uh, that's, 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 a, that. that's a natural mm. need, right, Steve? Mm. Everybody mm. wants to be liked. You yeah. know, sometimes you go to a party. Mm. Uh, 99 people in the party like you so much. They love you, they find you so uh, nice and attractive. One person doesn't like you yeah. and you try so hard to just please that person and go home and analyze why that person doesn't like oh, you. Yeah. You know, we all have this tendency to be liked because uh, as human beings, you know, um, there are fundamental human emotional needs that all of us need to, um, to, to be touched on, you know, like mm. you, you need to have those feelings inside of you. And uh, as a baby, you know, when we were born, we have this need to be loved. And this carries on until, until you know, forever, until you die. Oh, <laughs> you know? no you're wonder. Still, like, you know, yeah. that, that emotional need that everybody needs. And people want that acknowledgement. They want to be given attention. They want to be appreciated. And acceptance these are basic as well. Acceptance. Yeah. People want to be understood. So, um, that, that's why people have this need to be liked, right? Mm -hmm. So, what does it mean to uh, be liked? Uh, being liked means um, that you know you feel that the other person accepts you as them from their perspective mm. right and a lot of times people uh, go so ex the extra mile sometimes eh. negatively oh. to be liked you know people change their body shapes they change their hair color they change their eye color mm -hmm. they go through all kinds of pains oh. so that they will seem more popular right i mean yeah. we, we've seen that a lot oh, where people do this just to fit in people oh. can change their accent to 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 try to be popular or they try to to fit into other people's perspectives on right. how to be popular but when things are not aligned with who they are that's when people act for the rest of their life and then they say oh i'm not happy mm. right and then they say oh you know like they, they, they perhaps like they go to work and then they have to be with somebody yeah. that they're not yeah. they're acting so that people like them and then they come home and I'm like oh i'm so tired mm -hmm. yeah? yep. because they are not being who they are uh -uh. Just so that other people like them, yeah. So a lot of times we see this this uh, emotional need of being accepted goes as far as you know people be, can become so creative to express themselves in such ways that you know they, they get acceptance from others. Yeah. Right. So uh, having said that, right, uh, and what it means, we must address this question. And sometimes we are in that situation unconsciously that we are trying to please people all the time. All right. So my message here today is: How do you get people to like you? Just like the last time I was here, I talked about how to get people to respect you, to respect others first. Mm -hmm. So same thing, like you want others to like you, you like yourself first, right? Don't try to act so that you think that person will like you, but it is going against your own personal values. It goes against your core values. It goes against who you really are and you're, and you're trying to fit that mold. Mm. So um, you there will be discontentment and there's the... The issue of you know why do people like me? I'm trying to be the best. I'm trying to do all these things, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So when you know yourself, you like yourself, know your mm -hmm. core values, uh, live that, and when you are aligned, mm -hmm. you are in contentment. Then you know the this thing about oh well, other people why no they don't like me and all that it's a non-issue. Yeah, right. Um, I think in the mo in uh, most cases that's okay. happening right now is which is very rampant mm -hmm. where people actually. Uh, uh, just spill it out yeah. on Facebook, ah. on their Facebook, oh, on man. Twitter, la, Facebook, everything, la, you know. Yeah. They just yeah. spill, 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 spill the beans ah. out. And then, um, do you think that this is going to have a negative effect? You know, just spilling the beans and um, bad mouthing. Thinking, yeah, bad mouthing is one thing, but at the same time, mm. thinking that if you spill the beans and you just tell how you feel, mm -hmm. no matter how bad or negative yeah. it is, mm -hmm. uh, 
you will you will somehow get that that attention and yes. somehow be accepted. Mm. Oh mm. yeah, well you know when you send out negative vibes, you will get negative vibes back. Yeah. So the people who actually give you that attention also have some negativity in, in them. Okay. You know, so that, that circle of negativity and all that. And I always tell this in my class. You know, when it comes to um, uh, expressing yourself, never send an SMS or write on Twitter or Facebook status when you are angry. Mm. You know, whenever you're angry, cool yourself down first and then write uh, mm. something that is empowering or something because, you know, with all the tagging and the social media, everything goes worldwide. So, these negative emotions actually goes on to the person who's reading it and that person can feel it and it goes out even more. Mm. Alright? So, when it comes to these kind of things where, you know, you want acceptance, so you, you, you trash it out on, on, on Facebook, for example. Uh, 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 mm. You know, I would always recommend you cool off first and then write something that can actually benefit everybody else you know and why do people like you in the first place people like other people because of how that person makes the person feel yeah. you know sometimes you can you can try to be the best looking person you can mm. try to change yourself mm. and all that kind of thing mm -hmm. but you don't like yourself and how you treat other people is not with love and respect the other person does not feel loved and respected when they're around you Somehow, you know, they, they do, you know, there's the people saying, okay, lah, she's so pretty, but there's something that's not, you know, of, of different wavelength or something. She's only beautiful, or he or she is only beautiful exactly. on the outside. Exactly. Yeah. So it's how you make other people feel about themselves. If you're good about themselves when they are with you, they will like you. You will have a fantastic image. Mm. You will have a fantastic reputation. But if the person hangs around you and the, every time you get is complaining yeah. and all these things, you get negative. The reactions right. and when a person doesn't feel good about you or leaving you feeling negative somehow you know after a while they wouldn't want to hang out with you anymore anymore because you know that negative vibe really drains energies down so right. being positive is the most important is a key factor here where yeah. you should be always try to remain uh, positive yes. right exactly. but at the same time mm -hmm. you know most some some of the times where you think that oh it's so tiring to be positive all yeah. the time. Sometimes I also feel down. Yeah. How do I still remain positive? Be grateful. Mm. Be grateful. You know, no matter how the, the, um, you know negative your situation is, you go into an orphanage. Do something there. I tell you, <coughs> your your emotions will be lifted mm. because you see somebody else who's even worse off than you, and you see you can add value to them. You know. So uh, when when you do this for others, and when you find gratitude in your life, yeah. right? Help, everything seems smaller, you know. Mm -hmm. Then you say, okay, my life is, I'm having problems in this. But look at the other person. They, had, they don't even have enough food or they lost their daughter like just now. You know, how would that person feel? Mm -hmm. So when you go and do something for other people and you help them, you change your perspective altogether, uh -huh. especially about yourself. <coughs> mm -hmm. yeah? Well guys, uh, we actually went out to the streets uh, to find out how people think about this and, and what is probably their message or you know, how, what are the ways for them, uh, for, to, for people to, to actually like them. So let's That's take a look and see what they have to say. One person like another person in your opinion? Uh, I think it's uh, chemistry and also physical attraction. That's, I think that's the number one. And I think if you progress further, you will actually learn and understand the person more holistically. So that's what attracts you because of your uh, desire and personality that also that you want to see out of that person. So, yeah. Okay, so what about yourself? How do you make other people like you? Um, well, in my personal opinion how I work is that I I'm always be humble I always try to uh, understand people first rather than put myself out there first so um, I would study them understanding them and be, be has a bit more uh, modesty in myself so that people can accept me first then they can then I can accept them so that's how I mix around with people my opinion um, the attraction of each other Mm -hmm. may lead uh, each other to uh, fall in love is what I think this is uh, from my personality I think um, because I'm quite friendly and talkative so uh, most of my friends are like me to talk to with me and uh, share with me their, their things mm. what one person makes another the unique characteristic of another person yeah well first of all you need to be friendly of course and you need to smile because smile is your first impression of course there you go. So, um, being ha being a, well, having a friendly personality is, mm -hmm. is a helpful thing, and um, being able to smile, or you are uh, you like you are the smiley type, uh -huh. which is a good thing. 
Mm. Ah, right, right. So, yeah. <laughs> what, what if we are not the smiley type? We are not the friendly type. Does it mean that we yeah. will not yeah. be like? No, not necessarily. But yeah. I'm going to address what the the people on the yeah. street said just now. It's very interesting. Smile. You mm. know, when you smile, it is a universal um, mm. uh, expression. Human, hum, human, human expression. You know, a baby that's happy will go ha ha ha, laughing, yeah. smiling. Yeah. So when you smile, you go to a different country. You don't know the language. You smile at people. People be like smiling back. You know, they 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 will warm up. That's the mm. door opener, lah. Mm. Right. And the other one when uh, somebody said just now like oh uh, I'm very talkative and all that yeah. it's good to be talkative but always remember when we talk uh, with other people to get them to like you yep. talk in their interest mm. you know don't, don't don't just talk about yourself, yourself. or just your interest but mm. find out what it is or a common interest where you both can share yep. together and you know why this is so because uh, we have this basic fundamental human emotional needs net that needs to be touched you know and when you touch those needs you will be liked. Number one is that uh, people like to be acknowledged and appreciated, right? right? So when you talk to that in that interest, uh, uh, people feel that you know you you're trying to understand them and trying to uh, uh, appreciate them. And the other thing about appreciation is say thank you. Small small things that they do, you say thank you, you mm -hmm. acknowledge and you appreciate them. And I think my husband was here yeah. um, about uh, two weeks ago when he talked about how to how to. Uh, um, uh, address women, you know, from mm -hmm. a man's perspective, how mm -hmm. to show love to women, and he did mention something about the love notes, and I will carry. I'll, I'll talk about it today. Uh, love notes, like you know, you say thank you. You know, when when you wanna your spouse, you know, your your loved one, you send a love note on a post-it pad and you paste it where they can see it. They're the fridge girl on their notebook or on their laptop, and you say thank you for dinner last night. It was nice. Oh. You know, uh, thank you for something. Uh, uh, thank you for being you. I tell you, once you touch that emotional need, people will like you, lah. You know, you you say, oh, this person is actually paying attention to me, mm. right? And generally, people do not like to be criticized. So yeah. do not pick on things that you know that that uh, doesn't make you happy about the person, and you criticize them. Yeah. That shuts them off, right. right? So if you want to correct a person, even when we are raising children, right, we uh, empower them first. We tell them what they did right, and then we say how they can improve and what can be done to make it make a situation even better, rather than attacking the person. Okay. Is being talkative uh, uh, kind of like a dangerous thing as well? If you, I mean, you can you can be talkative, but at the same time, people might not like you yeah. for being too talkative. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. that's right. It's pretty subjective. Yeah, yeah. like you, like I said, you know, if you're talking, uh, you're talking all about your Yourself, own interest. Yeah. Oh, their football last night, blah 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 blah. And the other person likes makeup, and you are talking about <laughs> football, right? And the person is like, oh, okay, why am I talking about this? It's just you know. Yeah. yeah so when we talk, we find a common interest. And we talk in other people's uh, interests, where that, that, that it applies to them. Right. Yeah. And uh, one more thing is this, you started off this segment with the 99 to 1, right? Yes. 99 people uh, likes you one. So, uh, do we concentrate on that one or and will your answer be uh, different or will it still be same if the, there were to be 90 people who like this and mm. 10 who doesn't like yeah, this? Yeah, I just tell you this, lah, okay? Yeah. <laughs> no matter what good uh -huh. you do in the world, uh -huh. there will always be people be people there out there who criticize you and do not like you. No but what? most of the time, uh -huh. the people who love you and appreciate you, these are the people that we must appreciate back. How many times do you know, how many people out there who for get their loved ones just to increase their popularity with people who don't really matter yeah, to them cool, huh? you know mm -hmm. and that again it goes back to when there's no love for yourself there's no love and respect within people will always try to get popularity and all that you know for the sake of just getting popularity but not um, identifying their core values not knowing their purpose and um, one of the reasons why people have this is because sometimes in their childhood they don't feel loved or they felt like they were not liked so all throughout their adult life they will go on trying to please other people mm. right right well thank you so much Mushira, yeah. for coming this morning thank and you. Uh, if you are mm. interested to know more mm. on this especially to be part of uh, you know Facebook uh, page which is entitled uh, the message is love and respect so be sure to type in the message is love and respect on Facebook and you will find Mushida's page there and you can uh, be sure to find a lot of uh, positive uh, words inside as well.